So in the previous lesson, we were discussing the idea of entropy, how we can, uh, what it is, there's a measure of disorder, and uh, where in what type of reactions does disorder increase. And uh, we're gonna, we did that last time, and uh, that's what I'll start talk about first. We saw a few reactions where we know that increase the disorder of a system. The first one, one of the, one of the first ones we saw, one of them, I, in no particular order were, uh, if you could dissolve a solute, let's say sodium chloride solid becoming aqueous, was a way to increase the disorder of that system. Uh, we saw change of state, where going from liquid to gas, like steam, from liquid water to steam, or ice to water, would also increase the disorder and therefore entropy. Then there were reactions which were decomposition reactions, where you went from solid and decomposed them into uh, liquid and they would also increase the disorder of the system and increasing just increasing temperature would also increase the disorder of a system so these are one of the these are the four example these are four examples where we saw uh, disorder increase or entropy increase and what we are looking to do is to be able to now in the next stage look at equations and predict with certainty or some level of certainty the sign of entropy change. Now for all reactions understand that the symbol for entropy change is uh, delta S. S for entropy and S for delta. Alright? And what we're going to do today first is to talk about how can we predict the sign of entropy change, the sign of an entropy change of any reaction. And generally speaking, uh, for example, sorry, for example, if a reaction increases disorder, we'll say its entropy becomes more positive or positive. If disorder decreases or entropy decreases, delta S is negative. And generally speaking, if we when we said that okay, there is a change of state or decomposition, all of these may you are either in making gases or liquids. And those things help us in predicting the sign of entropy changes. Meaning that are we making solids or liquids or gases? They help us predict that. Because Q, and this is something that uh, I will want you to know, is that liquids and gases have a greater entropy than solids. A good way to see that would be, um, if I scroll down and show you this little table, okay? What you'll see in this little table, now this is by the way, period uh, two. Now in period two, you have metals, non-metals, and metals are generally solids. Non-metal carbon is a macromolecule, and then you got your non-metal, which, no, which are simple molecular gases. So you'll notice here, the solids whose entropy is uh, represented by the letter S, Unit you'll have to learn are similar to enthalpy, but this is entropy. It's joules per mole, but not kilojoules because the values are very small, per Kelvin, because temperature has an effect on entropy. So this is the unit for entropy. And for now, I mean, we'll discuss it later and when we do cause, do the math for it. But for now, think of it like, it's like joules per mole, literally it's like joules per mole per Kelvin, which simplified becomes this. And joules per mole is basically, like kilojoules per mole is just a smaller value. So this is the unit for entropy. And these are the, some of the values for individual entropies. Now one more, one thing I wanna highlight. Individually, every element or compound will have its own entropy value. This is not the same as enthalpy. And you can never know the individual enthalpy of any, any reactant or product. You can only know the enthalpy change. But entropy may, you can know entropies of each and every individual element and reactants and products and compounds and everything. Here is an example of that. These are period three ke kuch elements. In ki bhi entropies hain. The one thing you'll notice and that's something that I want you guys to focus on is that you'll notice here, generally speaking, that the ones that are gases seem to have a higher entropy than solids. And that's a rule of thumb. That's what will help 
us to predict enthalpy uh, entropy changes that gases have a higher entropy than liquids which by the way have a higher entropy than gas solids and that's a truth or uh, that's in a, a approximate truth that we should be aware of that's something that i like you guys to keep in mind that gases have higher entropy than liquids and liquids have higher entropy than solids and why does that matter because we're going to use this we're going to use this idea to talk about enthalpy changes of a reaction all right so now we're going to use that idea that gases have higher entropy than solids and liquids and liquids have more than solids to determine the delta s of any reaction remember delta s of a reaction is what is the entropy change of a reaction and first we'll we'll predict the sign of entropy changes so that you guys understand that you can do that and then we'll also calculate entropy changes now generally speaking knowing that gases have more entropy than solids and liquids if the number of moles of gas increases in any particular reaction we know that entropy will increase we can predict that with fair amount of certainty and if the number of moles of gas decrease we will be able to predict that entropy decreases now how this would how would this apply here i'm going to do a few examples so that it all settles in the first one is between nitrogen and 3 moles of hydrogen to produce ammonia we know this we've seen this in the habes process so if you are asked to predict the delta s of this reaction the way simple way to do that would be to see the number of moles of reactants which are gases now this is a gas and this is a gas too so total we have here on the left hand side four moles of gas and on the right hand side we have two moles of gas so what's really happening is four moles of gas are becoming two moles of gas and that implies that the number of moles of gas decreased and if the number of moles of gas decreased we know that entropy decreases and therefore the sign for this reaction will be negative and simply speaking why because the number of moles of gas decreased therefore delta s decreased let's take a look at the second question now these are by the way given in your slides of the chapter now here is something that we've seen before already and if we were to predict the enthalpy change say the entropy change of this what we'll see is that this is a decomposition reaction of group 2 it goes from one mole of solid to making one mole of solid and one mole of gas now one mole of any amount of gas will always supersede solids and liquids so i don't even consider solids and liquids if i have a gas present so if there was a gas present i would ignore everything else because gas is multiple times more important than solids and liquids so when i see the gas here i know that it went from zero moles of gas to one mole of gas so delta s of this reaction would increase because there's one mole of gas being made so we'd say the entropy increases and delta s is positive for this as long as we see what's happening to the reaction in terms of moles of gas we'll be able to predict let's look at a couple of more examples here so i have one right here now let me bring this up into play right here now this is methane burning in oxygen we've seen this reaction it's exothermic we know that it's what's happening every day in our ovens we we burn sweet gas to do this the reaction is exothermic it produces heat now we want to focus in terms of entropy changes is it increasing this order or decreasing this order well at rtp methane gas i mean measured at rtp the equation will be methane gas plus 2 moles of oxygen gas produces carbon dioxide and water here water is given in the solid in the liquid state so if i focus only on my gases i have one mole of gas in ch4 and two moles of gas in o2 which means that on the reactant side i have total of three moles of gas 
and on the product side i'm only making carbon dioxide as my only gas i'm making water but in the at room temperature water is a liquid so in this particular equation the way it's written and if the water was steam that would be different it would be three moles but right now it's only this that is gas so i'm making only one mole of gas so here i'd predict that the number of moles of gas decreased entropy decreased therefore delta s is negative it's all about the number of moles of gas they are more important than anything else lastly look at this one uh, this idea here is and i'll just yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just want to focus on that so now if you look at this particular gas is me kya ho raha two moles of gas are becoming one mole of gas so when two moles of gas are becoming one mole of gas again the number of moles of gas are decreasing so the disorder is decreasing okay because less moles of gas or entropy is decreasing therefore delta s is negative so generally speaking if moles of gas decrease entropy decreases if the moles of gas increase entropy increases and if the number of moles of gas stay the same on both sides then you can actually calculate it exactly but if you don't know the exact values and you are asked to make a prediction you would say that we can't really make a prediction it will be very close to the value of zero it will be a very small value either very small negative or very small positive here's an example where two different moles of gas are making two moles of the same gas now we can tell we cannot tell just by looking at this data it simply is that the two moles of gas on the left hand side and two moles of gas on the right hand side we really can't say much so we'll say is cut entropy change is approximately zero because neither we don't we can't say it will be not exactly zero because each of these things will have their own entropy value and this will have its own entropy value and using entropy values we will be able to calculate delta s and that's coming in the second part of class but this itself on its own prediction wise if the moles of the gas remain the same then we really can't make a prediction we can say it's approximately stays zero okay so now what i want you to do and you guys need to do this is this is in your notes also and it's also on the slide so now solve these four predict predict using basic data about moles of gas predict the delta s or is entropy increasing or decreasing so delta s is positive if entropy is increasing or delta s is negative entropy is decreasing so yeah solve this right now so this stuff is easy but i'm getting you guys there right so and look at the first question here you got 3 moles of gas becoming 1 mole of gas 3 moles of gas becoming 1 mole of gas here the therefore the number of moles of gas are decreasing the entropy sign will be negative and this is a decrease in entropy in the second equations case 9 moles of gas are becoming 4 moles of gas 9 moles of gas becoming 4 obviously if this was in a gaseous state you would have 10 moles of gas in that case this, that's what I mean an increase but right now as this equation stands this is 9 moles of gas becoming 4 moles of gas this is a decrease in entropy because 9 moles of gas are becoming 4 moles of gas number of moles of gas are important nothing else if there are gases involved then in number c you got 1 mole and 2 moles 1 mole becoming 2 moles of gas so this is an increase in entropy and the last one is 1 mole of gas becoming 2 moles of gas carbon is a solid So this is also a number of moles of gas increasing therefore entropy is increasing So another scale check on the same in the same notes is this and I'll do this one for you guys Now in this particular one if and this one is a little little trickier so I thought I'll do this Now you'll notice a a me kya ho raha hai that you got two moles of aqueous producing two moles of liquid which are similar but not too not not exactly the same in entropy 
but it's also producing gas. And that gas is the key. Since the products have one more gas than reactant, we'd say that iska delta S is going to be positive because entropy is increasing. In number B, you have what we call one mole of CO2 being produced. We saw some of this earlier, so I can just... This is one mole of gas being produced. Iska delta S is also positive. Now, the third one may you have one mole of solid and two moles of aqueous. So the aqueous might come in handy if there's no gases. When I look at the product, I've got aqueous also. And this, you know, moles are different, but yes, two moles of aqueous becoming one mole of, one mole of sorry, two moles of aqueous becoming one mole of aqueous. If that was the only thing, we'll worry about that. But what you realize is that there's a liquid also and there's a gas. So if the aqueous and the liquid are similar in entropy, is definitely a gas extra present in part C. So the extra gas means that its cubby delta S will be positive. And the last one, may you got a total of 15 moles of gas. 15 moles of gas producing only 8 moles of gas. Water is the liquid here. So we don't we don't we will compare the moles of gas. So 15 moles makes 8 moles. Here, the last one is actually a decrease in entropy. The aqueous will only come in handy if you're doing something like this. Something like silver nitrate aqueous and uh, sodium chloride aqueous is going to make, and this is something from AS level theory, silver chloride solid and sodium nitrate aqueous now there's no gas in this equation but what i do have is i have two moles of aqueous on the left hand side and i have one mole of aqueous on the right hand side they will only ask you to compare aqueouses if there's no gas in the system and so here if there's no gas then you compare the moles of aqueous and you realize that on the left hand side there are two moles of aqueous solutions or in fact what we call is there are four moles of solutes because these are two different ions and two different ions. But here is solid ban rahe. and one mole of aqueous only. So two moles of aqueous are becoming one mole of aqueous and here you can predict that entropy decreased. It is going to be minus. So when there's no gases is when you confirm the aqueous bit. All right. So now that we've predicted entropy changes, we can also calculate entropy changes of a reaction. So we should realize that we can find out the values of delta S of any reaction from the standard entropies of each reactant and product in any equation. Prediction is when we don't have the actual values, but the beauty is we know standard values of entropies for any uh, reactant and product in a reaction. And the way to use that is simply speaking is like this you can find the delta S of any reaction by taking the sum of the entropies of the products and minusing from it the sum of the entropies of the reactants. And that's something that one needs to think about. Okay, when you're comparing this with entropy cha enthalpy changes, you could not do this for enthalpy change. Because you do not know the enthalpies of products and reactants. You only knew enthalpy changes. And because you only knew enthalpy changes, you'd have to sometimes use Hess cycle to find the enthalpy change of a reaction. But for any reaction, entropy change that we can find out directly from using the values of products and reactants entropies. For that means I mean, let me explain what it does. Let me just do an example. It's easy to do it through examples. So here is one such example is given in your slides and the example is that one mole of ammonia nitrogen and three moles of hydrogen make two moles of ammonia and the idea is how do I find the en entropy change for this reaction well you'll be given data you'll be given data for entropies and this is a standard symbol you'll be given standard entropies for each and every reactant and product individually in joules per mole per kelvin 
and your job is to find the delta h and how would you find the delta sorry not delta h ni delta s you would do this that you will add the sum of the products minus the reactants ki entropies since the product is only ammonia and each ammonia because per mole hai it's 193 so obviously you will need two of them because the equation has two ammonias and it has one nitrogen and three hydrogen so one nitrogen is 192 but three hydrogens are three times 131 simply speaking you will take the standard entropies and these are the actual internal entropies of the reactants and products we know these values these are absolute entropies we plug them in products minus reactants accounting for the number of moles and then we solve for this so this comes out to minus 199 that means a decrease in entropy we can even predict that because four moles of gas are becoming two moles of gas but now we can calculate it and the units will be joules per kelvin per mole all right let's take a look at the next one now here is another example they want to find the delta s of this reaction and how do you find the delta s of this reaction if you are given the entropies of reactants and products you can just simply use it calculate it by using the symbol delta s is the products minus the reactants products kya kya hai isme calcium oxide 39.7 and carbon dioxide 213.6 and calcium carbonate is 92.9 obviously these all units are joules per mole per kelvin and you just do the math here now there was no multiple so you just add them up products ki entropy minus reactants entropy and you'll get the value for delta s for this reaction now in this case the value is actually a positive value 160.4 and it turns out if you do the math that's what the value turns out to be ठीक है वन सिक्सटी पॉइंट फोर जूल्स पर कैलविन पर मोर और राइट एंड वन लास्ट एग्जाम्पल इज दिस वन हेयर इथीन एंड वाटर बिकमिंग एथेनॉल सो वन गैस एंड लिक्विड बिकमिंग लिक्विड वी कैन ऑल्सो प्रोटेक्ट इज गोन बी अ डिक्रीज बट लेट्स फाइंड द मैथ दैट वुड बी एथेनॉल एथेनॉल इज वन सिक्स जीरो पॉइंट नाइन सेवन Minus the reactants, which is ethene, which is two one nine point five, and water sixty nine point nine. Again, the data will be given to you, and you do the math and solve for this, and you get a certain value for delta S. I am predicting here it'll be positive. This will be minus one twenty eight point seven joules per kelvin per mole, and that's how you calculate entropy. changes for a reaction